Jay was always a sensitive boy, but the death of his mother sent him deep into his own head. He seldom leaves the house, and even then only when prodded into it by his friend or his older sister. One day, Jay has a chance encounter with a very strange girl who claims to be headed to Yamilia, a mythical place on the moon where wishes come true. Desperate to unmake the past, Jay heads out on a journey of his own, heedless of what he might have to sacrifice to achieve his goal. Cricket is a timing-based RPG with some definite 16-bit inspiration. Combat is a pretty straightforward affair with one standout mechanic, the Tide Meter. Characters build up Tide with regular attacks and can then use it to power up standard moves, execute team-based attacks, or slow down time to make it easier to time out parries and hits. It isn't the first game to use a mechanic like this, but it's the first one I've seen where the enemy side has the same meter. Take too long during a fight and you could see enemy team-up attacks coming your way. Ample healing means that Cricket's combat is pretty easy, allowing the player to focus more on the story. At a top level, the game features an episodic plot that's pretty common to JRPGs. Where it stands out is in the more character-driven side of the story, which focuses on loss and grief. The two sides are, thematically speaking, night and day. One silly and absurdist, the other much heavier. That could have caused some friction, but there's actually decent harmony between the two of them. All in all, Cricket is an interesting little JRPG that gets some real bonus points for being a game inspired by Earthbound without being yet another indie Earthbound-like. Very much appreciated.